Hi everybody, I am Laura and welcome back to my channel. So for those of you who are new here, this is Confident Notions and around here we do, we meaning me, do a couple of different things, but mostly it's been a lot of haul videos and some unboxings and cool stuff like that. So today for you, I have the second half of the Dollar Tree haul that I filmed in my car uh, and it should be posted by now and I will link it above. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I got a lot of stuff because, you know, when you're a little stressed and your coping mechanism is shopping, the Dollar Tree is a far better place to do that than on other sites. Anyways, so I filmed the first half of that where I went through and showed you some of the new Valentine's Day things and the St. Patrick's Day stuff that they had at my local Dollar Tree. And then I wanted to save the second half because the video was already getting kind of long. <clears throat> but I did want to go ahead and film that for you all now and get that up mainly because I should be packing right now because I am leaving to go to California for work in two and a half hours and I haven't packed yet. So yeah, I don't know. Leave me a note down in the comments. Like what type of person are you? Are you the one who like packs like a day in advance and gets to the airport super early? Because I am not. I am not one of those people by any stretch of the imagination. I am a last minute walk in the door, go straight to the gate and get on. Here's the thing. Here's kind of the way I look at it. I have my, my seat. I know where I'm gonna sit. I don't have to worry about like fighting people. Um, I actually rarely fly Southwest just for that specific reason because I don't like having to fuss about where I'm gonna sit or get in line and oh my gosh, what if it's a middle seat? I don't do any of that. Um, I usually, I've been flying Delta a lot more recently because of points and free flights and stuff like that because they rack up. Anyways, uh, I also have, my nose is so itchy. Anyways, so I also have the TSA pre-check, which is one of the, like, the best things I've ever done, especially since I'm traveling more for work. But TSA pre-check, it's $85. It lasts for a year. And what you do is you go in, excuse me, it lasts for five years. So five years for the TSA pre-check. And all I had to do was set up an appointment for an interview at my airport. And I, when I did it, I set it up at like 8 a.m., I was in and out and they took my fingerprints in like 20 minutes. It was super fast. And then I had my um, known flyer number a couple of days, like maybe like two weeks later. But to be able to go through and bypass any of the security lines and go like straight through, you don't have to take your laptop out of your bag. You don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to take your coat off. All of that good stuff. I mean, it is so well worth it. Um, and... Also, I'll be honest, like Raleigh International Airport is not what we'd call a large hub airport and you can get in and out pretty quickly. So I can roll up 45 minutes before my flight leaves and get there. Uh, drives a lot of other people crazy, but oh wow. I need my coffee. This is my Pittsburgh Starbucks mug. I absolutely love this mug. Um, Y'all know, I grew up outside of Pittsburgh, went to the University of Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has my heart, so I love this mug. Okay, I've been rambling off almost four minutes now. Let's get into this Dollar Tree haul. So the first thing I wanted to show you, and this is one of my most favorite things that I got. I think I'm gonna put this in Morgan's um, Valentine's Day bag, but they had a hummingbird feeder. They had a hummingbird feeder and they had hummingbird feeder food for a dollar. So this little doodad was a dollar. It comes with a little hooky thing to hang. We already have hooks like on our front porch from the previous owners and this. And I think this is so cute. I don't even know if we have hummingbirds, but I'm gonna find out. So I thought this was just super adorable. And for a dollar, uh, yes, please, hummingbird feeder. So I'll put this up and um, I'll put this in her um, Valentine's Day ba bag and we'll put it up and who knows, maybe we'll get some hummingbirds, right? Maybe I'll put it in the back porch that make, make it easier to, for there to see. Let's see, what else? I've been seeing people haul these before. This is the pod foot file, the, the petty foot thing. I um, I do get pedicures, not usually in the winter time because anybody looking at my toes, but I um, 
mainly just to you know, kind of keep it up and maintain it. But the problem is, is my feet are super ticklish, like super, super ticklish. So when she goes in to file down my callus, like the calluses, I like scream and laugh and everybody looks at me and I'm, I don't actually get embarrassed. I don't care if everybody wants to look at me, but she always feels bad because she can't like dig in as much as she wants. So sometimes when I do it myself, it's a little better. So I got one of these little foot eggy things. I also picked up a new, um, uh, this is a shower comb and I actually was looking for a comb with like a pointy end on it so when I do Morgan's hair I couldn't find one like that specifically but I did see this um her hair has grown ridiculously long in the last year and I ain't cutting it I ain't cutting that big I ain't cutting that baby's hair until I absolutely have to until she comes to me and says mommy cut my hair and then I'm gonna cry but in the meantime also it's curly so when it comes out, it's pretty curly. Um, she usually does not like for me to do her hair, so it's a struggle just to get a ponytail and get the, the top part out of her face because I will not cut bangs for that child because bangs are easy for parents. They're horrible to grow out. Nobody loves growing out bangs. Everybody has to do it once or twice in their life and, and you've read it, so I'm not gonna put the child through that. If she wants bangs one day, she can cut her own bangs. My hairdresser, uh, actually has a rule so sometimes I'll go to her and I'll be like I want bangs and she's like no I'm not gonna cut you bangs you're gonna be back here in six weeks to get your roots touched up so in still we it in six weeks if you still want bangs I will cut them then haven't wanted them done last bangs are not like bangs are a very like impulsive decision and they're only like one percent of the population looks good with bangs and should keep bangs I am not part of that one percent So I did get that, and I also got, um, where is it? I don't see it. I did get, where is it? Hmm, I don't know. I thought it, maybe I passed on it. They had, like, a pack of combs. I might have passed on it, but none of them had, like, a pointy end. I also got some more hair ties. I got these bigger hair elastics. I think these will start to work. I've been using, like, the small elastics on her hair which are helpful for me and I don't mind them. Here's another pack. I got another pack of these 500 um, small elastic bands. These are, you can get 500 of these at Target for like six bucks, five, six bucks. And I got these for a dollar. So yeah. So I did also pick up a pack of these like normal hair ties are too thick for her hair. Um, Cause she's still got baby hair. She just has a lot of baby hair. So I am. Um, these might be a little better for daddy and Grammy to have to get out of her hair when I put them in um, <clears throat> this morning. I don't know what it is. So I, I'm not like a big Disney fan. Like I like Disney, but I'm not like Disney obsessed like some people are. And so as a result, like she doesn't know much about Disney. We don't watch Disney. She hasn't watched any Disney movies, but some of the little girls in her class are, are Elsa obsessed and frozen. And so she told me that she wanted an Elsa braid this morning I'm like you never want me to do your hair but okay and so I had to take some of it and put some in like pony like I had to do like two ponytails and then do a braid so there's three elastics in her hair and like I said I'm getting ready to get on a plane so daddy will have a hell of a time getting that out of her hair tonight before bed so I got him some of these better manage Let's see what else um I did get some I got some candy um like I said I am headed out on a plane and I don't want to have to pay airplane prices for snacks. I like having some snacks in my bag. So I guess I'm going to California. Um, I'm going from Raleigh to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to San Jose. And I don't like paying airplane prices for snacks. Um, I also think it's kind of bullshit. Like if you're gonna go across country, which is like a five hour trip, that you don't get meals anymore. I get meals on an international flight. I get two meals on an international flight, but I don't get anything on that. So. Hopefully I have some time to get some food in Atlanta on the way over, but I did get some snacks. So I got a bag of Twizzler Bites, which I am a big fan of. These are going to go in my bag uh, for the plane, as are these Haribo Peaches and these Tootsie Roll Midgies. These Haribos, like, they have these at all of the airport stores, and you know you get like two of them for like eight bucks. So grabbed up on those. I'm not going to eat all of them, but I like to have just a little something because the the plane gets like stale and maybe you need a little something or a little mint right and so i also got um 
not taking these with me. These are for later. Butter rum lifesavers are like the best lifesavers on the planet. So I was really excited to see that they've been carrying these more because I will stop my ass up on those. Right? Oh, also candy. I already busted into these, but I got a box of sugar babies because I think they're delicious and I love eating like one or two, well, okay, like five at a time and then just like keeping them separate. So I got some sugar babies also. Oh, we took candy. I didn't need this candy. Let's see what else. I also picked up again because airplanes are dry and I like to just have them handy, but another pack of the hauls. I don't know. Um, I started a new, I got a new medication. I usually take a lot of medicines, but I decided to give this one a go. And one of the side effects is dry mouth. So I got some dry mouth right now too. So some of these mints in that will hopefully help with my, help with my uh, dry mouth. Oh. Also, too, I picked this up, these Russell Stover's candies for a dollar. Uh, you get, how many you get in here? I think you get, oh, it contains six pieces. That's really good. Do you remember you used to get those, like, little boxes of the Whitman samplers, but you would get, like, a four-pack, and it was, like, way more than that. So this is good. This assorted chocolates wrapped up. Um, I might put this in Morgan's thought, a box, too, because she loves chocolate. Loves, loves chocolate. Like, a lot to the point where um, we were at the grocery store the other day and when I got home, I found Reese cups in my bag because like in the, the shopping bags um, because she had put them in there. Wow. Right, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I've been needing one of these for a while, one of these mesh laundry bags to put like bras and underwear in when I do laundry. I just don't like them getting tangled up in everything else and running the risk of snagging. And I had some that I got from um, Amazon, but the zippers keep breaking. Like these things don't last. Like the zippers break all the time or they fall open and then like all of your underwear goes all over the place. So um, I'll give this one a go. So excited about that. And let's see what else did I get. I also got, I think this is just that, oh. They had this hand cream, this Utterly Smooth hand cream. My hands are notoriously dry all the time. And I like having hand cream in my purse, in my pocket, you name it. Um, I keep it handy. So I picked up one of those for a dollar. Then I did, they had some new makeup-y stuff. And you know, I'm, I'm usually not like a big fan of the LA Colors line, but for a dollar, I'll give it a try out. So the first thing I did get, they have these like macaron, um, lip balms and they have one in berry and one in grape which i thought was super cute right so this one says you're very sweet and the other says you look grape today but i thought these were really adorable and i was pretty impressed with the last like lip balms that i got from the dollar tree so yeah i bust into one of these look how cute that is though and then i think this is one of these twisty off ones and then you got to put your finger in it nice i just rubbed my lipstick all over the place but there it was. so that's really cute i mean there's not a ton in there right but it's yeah you ain't got much in there at all but it's okay i mean it's a dollar and packaging is cute so i'll put that in my lip balm bucket and then they also had a couple of other um new things that i hadn't seen before they did have one of these lip oils. So I have seen other people hauling the lip oils in the other flavors and they were like in a different packaging that was over with like the the gift set, but this was in the LA color section. And so they had, I got this one in grape cause I was curious. And then I also got, um, that they had a, a couple of other different flavors too. Like they had berry and then they had something else and something else. Anyways, so I thought this was cute. And then they also had a ton of mascara. And so for a dollar, I was like, well, I'll give this Dramatic Lash mascara a go. And they have like four different kinds of mascara for a dollar. Um, I got this one with the super extending brush. Just curious. Let's bust into this bad boy. Maybe, maybe not. Will I awkwardly open it? So it's just a little spoolie. Oh, that's not bad. That actually looks like a not too bad mascara. Okay, a little better looking than the one I opened the other day from BoxyCharm, but it's all right. So that was cute. And then the last thing I got, and I thought this was really cute. They had these eyeshadow 
do like these eyeshadow kits in um in nude they had one in shut like in in smoky eye and then they had something else too but i i thought for like you get all of those different colors for a dollar for a dollar and you get this little two-ended thing um i mean let's be honest like the color payoff here is not that great for la for this la colors um it's kind of it's a little splotchy it doesn't um it doesn't layer very well but it is these are some nice nude shades though and um and i'll be honest like for a dollar you can do something with this if you do. Um, I like also that it's a small size and with some of the travel that I have coming up, this is really easy to put into my makeup and not have to worry about like accidentally losing or leaving something behind at in a hotel or if my bag gets lost by some reason, like I don't have to worry about it and if I can use this and, and it was a dollar if something happens to it, right? So yeah that was it so that was my secondary doll that was the rest of my dollar tree haul so i hope you enjoyed that if you like videos like this do go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button and uh yeah so i will see you all soon and i'll talk to you later bye